Lena, obviously bitterly disappointed to be losing you, but many congratulations moving back up to the Premiership with Bristol Bears signing a permanent contract there. Can you just talk us through some of the uh, reasons why you've chosen to, to move there for next season? Yeah, obviously, you know, first I think probably a, a hell of an opportunity. Um, at, at my sort of old age of 28, I've almost firmly closed that chapter in terms of thinking about the Premiership. Um, and obviously, I've absolutely loved my time here. So, um, you know, when, when the loan option came around, the club first were unbelievable with me and sort of saying, yep, yeah, definitely go for it. Um, it. It was for a month and then got extended to another month. Um, Pat was kind enough to, you know, chuck me in a few few big games and stuff. And yeah, the offer came up and went back and forth a few weeks. Spoke to Bedford, spoke to Bristol, spoke to my family, all those kind of people. Um, and yeah, genuine one of the toughest decisions, probably the toughest decision I've made in rugby um, to leave this place. But I just thought, you know, again, like I said, I thought I'd close the chapter on Prem, but the way it's gone it's been good I've been given an opportunity for a couple of years down in Bristol and I thought didn't want to have any regrets so just had to had to give it a go we all know how much <laughs> this club means to you 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 grew up here you're from Bedford you're you played for the junior blues is it sunk in that you won't be here next season yet not really um no not at all to be fair and I think being injured is obviously difficult because you don't get that last went well, I think my last game was knocking away without knowing um so that's that's sort of a bit gutting, but um, yeah, probably I, I guess it will probably sink in when I'm probably when the boys are back in pre-season and I'm down in Bristol and all that starting up again for another year, and you think, yeah, you know that that is it type thing. But obviously I'll be back watching games when I can, and a lot sort of loads of the lads are still here for next year, I believe. So you know a lot of mates here, and obviously like you said, families down here, so I'll be down here a lot. So you probably get bored of me. Yeah, and uh, we were joking about it. You're on 97 appearances for this club, so you have to come back at some point just yeah. to get into the centre. Hundred percent. I've said to Mike, I'm coming back wherever it takes. Three more games. Give me a couple of years, I'll be back, or even on loan. Who knows? You've been at Bristol for the last few months on loan. You've now made that <coughs> signing permanent. Um, what have you learned in this short spell that you've been at been at Ashton Gate that you'll be taking forward next season? I think it's just. Like anyone here that would tell you, like loads of boys have done it, but just the level of detail um, and I guess the time you've got there to get stuck into reviewing games, previewing games. Um, I guess in terms of having played, honestly, I don't fit. Like there's so many boys here and across the champ that could easily play in the Prem and look comfortable, and I firmly believe that, and I've said that for years. Um, I just think it's the exposure to you know multiple multiple coaches the hours you get like one-to-one -one development um, and yeah in terms of playing it's just sort of it's probably a bit quicker um, slightly more physical but on the whole the gap's smaller than people think and in your short time now you've had some unbelievable games to be involved in your Champions Cup debut uh, you played at Ashton Gate played at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium what's been the main highlight so far from your time there yeah it's been a bit of a whirlwind to be fair um, obviously Premiership debut a long time, I think it's 10 years in the making from when I joined Bath. Um, but yeah, did that against Quinns at Ashton Gate, which is obviously amazing. Um, amazing day for the family and myself. Uh, obviously, of course, the Tottenham game was a bit ridiculous uh, down at that stadium. Uh, I think 50 odd thousand against a fully packed Saris. Um, and then, like you said, the Europe game. So, you know, I'm very grateful to Pat. He's chucked me in, in some big games uh, for Bristol uh, and I've enjoyed it. But I don't even really have one sort of overriding memory from that from those two months but like I said it's gone real fast it's just been class. You've spoken about the champ already in a couple of your answers you are the latest success story to move from the championship to the premiership um, it, it just continues that pathway doesn't it between the second tier and the first tier and you've seen firsthand throughout your career how important this level of rugby is. 100% and I'll, I'll say that to anyone um, you know, rugby is all about playing and game time, and you see it with the Saints lads that come down here from from when they first arrive, start of the year, out of academies to when they leave, end of the year, or a couple of lads have been with us for a couple of years now. The difference in how they are as a player and the confidence, and I think, you know, enough's been written about the champ and the disrespect it gets from the powers that be, and you know that it's a real shame because everyone that's played in it or watches it knows how much of an unbelievable league it is and the quality of player that's in this league and probably fighting against the system a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, like I said to you earlier, the amount of lads in the league that could step up, like I'll absolutely not be the last. There's so many boys in this league that from all the teams that could easily slot in and not look out of place at all in the Prem. We're sat here 
overlooking the training session that's taking place. We can hear a lot of laughter behind us. That's something you'll you'll miss here. But what's the main thing you're going to miss here at Goldenton Road? I think yeah, that's you're probably right. That's it. Sort of the the culture that Mike sets, um, and obviously the great group of boys that we seem to have here every year. Um, and that's what it's about. Mike puts everything on enjoyment at the end of the day. Um, you know, not always fighting for promotion and all that sort of stuff but as long as you're enjoying, enjoying your rugby I think the crowd can tell when you're doing that and you know we've had a lot of great trips away or great socials or great memories on the pitch um, but yeah like ultimately it's the lads that make it um, and as I said it's, it's a very hard place to leave. And what is your favourite memory if you could hone it down into one thing? Um, on the field or off the field or everything? Off the field we've had a lot. Trip to Barcelona my first year here went to Bruges. I think that'll be memorable for years to come, forever. All the boys that were on that trip. Um, games, most recently, probably the Jersey Boxing Day here. That was amazing. Huge win. Massive, massive crowd. Um, probably, oh, to be fair, you probably said about any Boxing Day game here is real special. Um, first game, probably always, for the sort of completing the loop, coming back to the Boyhood Club. And then just ev this whole year, to be honest, having fans back, being asked to be captain, um, I've absolutely loved sort of leading the boys out and, and doing that role. Um, so yeah, probably way too many highlights to listen to video, but definitely anything to do with Boxing Day is right up there. You spoke about the fans a lot in your answer there. I guess that's the best place for us to end on. What's your, what should leave a message to the supporters that gave you that, that support for the last five years? I guess just thank you. Um, you know, we. A lot, you'll hear it from a lot of lads but best fans in the league and it really is true they've been unbelievable with me since first first day here um, even well especially since I've been at Bristol some of the messages I've had, I've had from the fans and stuff has been been sort of amazing like the, the kind words and the support um, and I know I'll get that from them next year and you know like we like said on 97 I'm gonna have to come back and get 100 so it won't be the last time um, but yeah just ultimately thank you and uh, keep supporting the lads because it means the world to them. Well Lena it's been a pleasure to have you here at Golden's Road and we wish you very well at Bristol Bay. Cheers Ryan, thanks mate.